Hey guys, Omerko here, a self-taught web developer with another video for Angular Material series. This time we will work with the stepper from Angular Material, which you can see right here on my screen. It has one, two, three steps. I can move through these steps very easily, but I can go to, uh, through the first step, populate the data. Let's say that my name is Stefan, which it is. Then I can add my address. I will add just dummy text here. And the next here, I will have just done. I could from here on, uh, now on go backwards or even reset the whole stepper. So this is a nice component that we can use for maybe logging in or signing uh, up our users or even for other things as well. So here in this video, I will show you how can you create this component. And what is good about this, we don't need to use any JavaScript, well, TypeScript code here. We can just simply use the component from material and we will just use HTML to do that. But before we start with the tutorial, be sure to check my uh, website where you can find all of my tutorials and also courses as well. You will have a link to this website down in the description of this video. Now let's start this tutorial. First thing for this tutorial that I will do is generate my component that will use that stepper from Angular Material. To do that, I will use command of ng, g for generate, c for component, and I will generate my component in components, slash stepper component. Once the component was generated, I can open up my uh, app.component.html file, and first of all, I will hide this sort header component from the last video. If you wish to watch that video, you will have a link down in the description of this one. And here I can simply use stepper as a comment and I will use app stepper selector here to select the component that we just generated. And I will use end of stepper here as an ending comment. Usually we import proper module for all of our components from, well, for all material components. And I will do the same for a stepper. So go into your app.module.ts file. First of all, I will move this stepper component here to a tab. And here now I can import. I will import mat stepper module. And I will import that from at angular slash material slash stepper. Now be sure to pass this mat stepper module down in this imports array so we can use components from this module. From now on, we can just go to components and open up the stepper HTML file to create a simple stepper. Well, the stepper that you saw at the beginning of this video. Here, first of all, I will create a div and this div will hold a style attribute with the width of 500 pixel and also margin can be 50 pixels top and bottom out of or left and right. Now inside of this stepper, I will use mat horizontal stepper attribute which comes directly from angular material there is something that you should know about this mat horizontal stepper now in the latest uh, well material which is 13.1.3 this has changed so you can visit the official documentation on material find this stepper on a sidebar and in a code itself you will find now that we won't use mat uh, that horiz well mat horizontal stepper element but just mat stepper element and we can use it if it's a linear or ver vertical stepper well depending on uh, the attribute itself so now from now on we won't use that mat horizontal stepper anymore this mat horizontal stepper will be the wrapper for my stepper obviously here to this wrapper i can pass few attributes like style at style attribute to put the text align into center then i will also pass type of this stepper which can be linear and well linear doesn't need to hold any value it can be just passed like this and also often we wish to well have some local variable of this stepper so the local reference and to use local reference in an angler you need to pass a hash here and just name your reference here i will pass form stepper as a name for this horizontal stepper and now this is pretty much it inside of this stepper we can simply create some HTML. Here, what I will do is create mat step, well, use mat step element to declare my first step inside of this stepper. Whatever we now pass in this mat step will be in our first step. And first of all, what I will pass is my mat form field, 
This form field can, for example, hold the appearance attribute uh, of fill. And then inside, I will use also mat label. A label will say just your uh, name and also input field because here we are working with the form stepper. Input field type uh, can be just a text, that's not a problem. I will use mat input here as the attribute from material so we could get that nice styling and also placeholder will say enter your name. Next to this mat form field, I will need a button which will, well, I can trigger that button to move to the next step in my stepper. So here I will wrap my button with just a div and inside I will use a button. The button will say, let's say like next, so basically next step. Let's pass few attributes to this button as well. First attribute will be mat raised button to style this button a bit differently to look as well there will be a bit of shadow on this button and then i will pass the attribute of mat stepper next you can see that here we can use next and previous we will use next because we need to go to the next step and this here is important if you would use a previous one you will go to the previous step now i will copy the entire step and paste it down for my second step for my second step, I will still have this form field, but now it will say your address. Then here for the placeholder, I will just say enter your address as well. Now we won't have just one button, but two buttons. So let me copy this button here for the previous, for previous step. Well, I won't name it previous, but back for example, and uh, mat stepper. Uh, attribute should be mat stepper previews here and for the last step here what i can do is just use mat step again and inside i will use a paragraph of done text kind of to mimic that the whole form stepper is finished and i will create a div with two buttons inside the first button will say just back because we can go to a back uh, step right then to this button, I will pass again attributes of mat. Well, here I can pass mat button only. Let's just style this a bit differently. Then I will use mat stepper, well, mat stepper like this, previous to go backwards, right? And I will copy this button, paste it down below. This button here will say now reset because we can also reset the whole stepper. Matte button will be the attribute, but here mat stepper previews won't be the attribute anymore. Here we will use our local reference that we created, which is this form stepper. So inside I can use this, well, I can use click event, listen to the click event. And when we click on this reset button, I can use the form stepper local variable that we created. And I can use a reset method on it because, well, from material we will get the access to this method. And that should be pretty much it. So now we can just visit our browser and test this. In my browser, this is the result. We do have our stepper here. So here I could use my name just to test if everything works. Go to the next step. Yes, it does. Address, I will just add some dummy text here. Go to the next step. Here it is. We can always go backwards by these steps and also to a next step as well. So we could edit those as well. And here we do have option of reset to reset the whole stepper. Now, obviously, when you use this on a real website or your real application, well, you will have much more to that. You will have maybe more steps, uh, well, probably customized styling and even validation for each of those fields. But none of those is a part of this tutorial. So by that, this should be it, guys. If you have any questions, be sure to ask those down below and I will surely answer you. Also, be sure to visit my website and subscribe to my newsletter. On my website, you will find all of my tutorials and courses that I have on multiple platforms. But this is pretty much it, guys. Thank you all for watching. And if you like what you saw, please click like and subscribe as I am posting a new content weekly. Uh, thank you once again. and I will see you in my next video. Bye bye.